Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the PowerSmart PS5150. This is a pretty cool unit. This is a battery power block, all right? So it's kind of like a generator minus the gas, right? We got all these batteries in here. We're able to uh, do quite a few things with this on the go without having the noise of a generator running. Today we're going to get into it, kind of go over it, do a light review, and uh, I'll give you guys my opinion on it thus far. Be sure to stick around, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe. We're going to get into it. All right, guys, so we're looking at the PowerSmart PS5150. It is a 500 watt portable power system. Now, I've already had it out of the box. I've been using it for a couple weeks now. It's performed and done uh, the job that I've needed it to do. The uh, unit itself, as you can see, isn't very large. It's not bad. It's probably, I think the weight's on here somewhere, but I mean, you know, maybe eight, 10 pounds. The box itself says there's a two year warranty with 24 support, 24 hour support. Um, it comes with a car outlet, a wall outlet, and it doesn't come with it, but you could also charge this off of a solar panel. Now, I've been using this unit at a couple different craft fairs, because when I go to different events, you're not allowed to have a gas generator. And I actually have some lights that I've created. Um, I've built some lamps and things like that for, uh, for sale and for shows and things. And I'm like, man, it'd be great if I could light these lamps when I go to a craft fair. You know, like I said, usually you can't bring a gas generator to a craft fair for power. And a lot of times craft fairs are in places where there is no power hookups. So this was a really great option here. Um, I'll admit PowerSmart sent this over for me to do a review on. They said, hey, you know, we'll send you this. Can you do a review on it? And I'll be honest, it's it's been pretty darn cool to uh, use and uh, hook up and have my lamps running in my booth and have lights on in there and things like that so people can actually see the art and see the pieces functioning and working. Now, when you're looking at the unit itself, I'll bring you guys in closer so you can get a better look here. Looking at the unit itself, you got some different plugs here. Here's the on button. Click it, it lights right up. When you're using this, which we'll do before the end of this video, it'll actually show you how many hours of usage you have left while running whatever it is you're running. So it tells you, you know, hey, you're going to have five hours left. You have 20 hours left, which is pretty darn cool. You got a little plug over here. This is to charge the unit. You got a DC outlet, you know, your car outlet right here. Cigarette lighter kind of plug. USB port, charge your phones, laptops, whatever it may be. You can plug right into this port. There's actually, uh, let's see here, we got one, two, three, three USB ports and a USB-C down in the bottom. And then you have your AC outlets. Just two regular outlet plugs. Now, I just hooked this up uh, last night, actually, to a whiskey bar I've been building, which is automated and has lights and everything. And I was able to run that big unit off of this, so that was really cool. I was pretty excited about that. On top of the outlets and plugs, a couple other features is a light. You got a light right here. You got a switch up here. You not really switch a button. You push, turn that LED on and off. But it also controls the LED here. So if you need a work light, you're able to turn that on as well. So the same button turns on the light in the front and the handle light that's like a work light. Another pretty neat function is you're able to take your phone, lay it on top, and it's a charging, portable charging system. So you can lay your phone on here and do wireless charging for your cell phone. So PowerSmart talks about using this unit on camping trips and taking it with you. I could definitely see the benefits if you wanna be able to power your phone, if you wanna be able to recharge lights and things like that. Now obviously if you're using this camping, you may run it down and it might die. A great thing about this is all the options they give you for charging, recharging the unit. Now the first one is the wall plug, which I've already used a few times to recharge this. You plug it in, you get a little green light while it's running, and it also shows you an update on that automated digital screen right here as to what percent it's at while it's charging, so you know when this uh, unit is fully charged. Uh, the great one though about camping is you're able to take this, which has that plug for the old cigarette lighter there, and you can plug this into your truck, your car, and recharge the unit. 
Now I know my vehicle still has this outlet. Not a lot of them do I've seen, but if you do and you have that plug, you're able to recharge right out of your car. They give you this other one. I didn't do any research on it though. I'm not 100% sure. I think maybe it's you can run these in tandem. So if you have two, you can run them together. All in all though, I think it's a, a pretty neat little unit. It does what it needs to do for me. Um, again, being able to take it on the road, take it to shows, it doesn't take up as much space as a large gas generator, especially for something like, you know, a craft fair I'm going to be at for a few hours. I just need to be able to turn a lamp on or a light on to show people how it works. Or even a show I just recently did, I left the lamp on, two lamps on all day long and the battery wasn't even dead. We were down to like 47% after leaving it on for six hours. So, and that's just continuous. It's just leaving it on, letting it do its thing. And it's pretty, uh, you know, pretty neat to see to be able to have this option, be able to uh, have this unit going. Now, as far as power tools go, I haven't ran any power tools off this really. The uh, whiskey bar I've been building has an electronic motor and lift built in which sucks a lot of juice and takes quite a bit of power i ran it up and down through a few cycles with all the lights on on that piece that i built and we didn't drain any power when this was charged at 100 percent. so that only took you know five ten minutes of playing around with stuff uh running this unit up and down and this was able to hold up just for that five or ten minutes and run the unit now what i'd like to do though is maybe plug in the Dremel so you guys can see the voltage and how that works when things are running. So I'll bring you guys in close so you can see how that works. Now I know I have Dremel carvers that watch the channel. This is just a Dremel 3000. We're going to plug it in here. This might be an option for you if you go camping and you go do things. You don't want that loud generator running but you need some portable power for a job. Ooh, it was already on. My bad. Turned it off. There, now it's on. So, I don't know if you guys can see that screen down there. All right, so I got my Dremel plugged in. It's just a Dremel 3000. You can see it says 100%. Now, with it plugged in, I turn the unit on. I got nothing, right? You got to hit the AC button, and it lights up green down here. And then we get some numbers. Let's see if I can bring this down so you guys can see. We have some numbers popping up. Output as of right now. 65.8 hours are left on this if you're using, I believe, 7 watts. So we're going to turn the Dremel on and see how that changes. So the top number is your hours that you're going to get out of the charge of the unit. And down here is the draw, so the juice we're pulling. Right now it's running like 7 watts just to have the unit on. At 65.8 hours this would stay on with nothing running. As you can see though with this run at full speed, we'd probably get anywhere from 4 to 6 hours. If the speed's, you know, alternating and changing, it went all the way up to like 10 hours. So... Kind of a neat little thing though to be able to see so you would know if this is going to die but this might be a really great option though for you dremel carvers out there or for on-site work something i'm going to do though real quick so i'm going to go grab my bigger die grinder and i want to see what the draw is on that so don't go anywhere all right guys we're going to unplug the dremel get that out of the way and we're going to bring in one of the die grinders it's just one of the harbor freight chicago electric die grinders i always use when i'm chainsaw carving use this for all my detail work we're gonna plug this guy in. This will be a little bit louder probably. And uh, we'll see what kind of numbers we're at. So right now it's at 65.8, seven. Let's turn this unit on. Turn that off, turn it on so you guys can actually see the screen. Sorry, it wasn't lit up. Let's try that again. Yeah. 
All right, so this may not be the power option for a die grinder because that drastically dropped to 1.8 hours. So just under two hours is all you'd get on this. You're not even going to get a full two hours if you're running a full die grinder on this guy doing detail work. But the Dremel, it looks like you'd get at least four hours. So might be a good option, you know, uh, something worth looking at. You guys can find it at Powersmart dot com you guys can look it up i'll have it linked down below as well you guys can go there check it out see if it's a unit you're interested in something uh something you need or you know something you want to get something to have uh for camping or carving or whatever it may be that fits the bill for you all right guys well like i said earlier power smart sent me this to do a review on i think it's an all right unit you know i'm used to running gas units it's so it's a little bit different you know as far as like run times are going to be and things like that um, I'm not sure we're going to be able to run big power tools off it. I believe it's mostly meant, though, for charging things and running lights and things like that. I mean, when you look at their box, they've got lights, a gaming system, a laptop, TV, a small fan, um, charging, all those kinds of things, drones, GoPros, different stuff like that. Now, in an emergency kind of deal, I can see where this could definitely be helpful um being able to charge it with a solar panel or something like that would be really beneficial as well you could take it on the go with you it's not as heavy you know as a gas generator it's one of those things you know you could pack it on the four-wheeler go camping use a uh use a solar panel to recharge it while you're out in the field something like that again do your own research though guys look it up you can find it at powersmart.com i'll have a link down below and uh see if it fits the bill for you Hope you guys have enjoyed this quick video reviewing the PowerSmart PS5150. Give me a like, hit subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think. Check out some fresh videos popping up, and I'll see you guys later.